is making headlines. Two girls who had been kidnapped for 11 days were rescued last night at a house in Gong. The kidnappers had demanded a ransom of 82 million shillings. And in Bungoma, one of the key witnesses in the nullified Bungoma senatorial petition has alleged that his life is in danger. Ian Wafula has the details. First Lady Margaret Kenyatta has pledged to support initiatives in aid of orphans and abandoned children. The First Lady visited Imani Children's Home in Kayole, Soweto. The home is one of the 700 children's rehabilitation institutions in the country, hosting more than 40,000 vulnerable children. And in Gong, nine people were last night arrested for allegedly kidnapping two children. The group is said to have rented the house two months ago. They are alleged to have demanded a ransom of 82 million shillings from the parents of the girls who are twins, but later reduced the amount to 21 million shillings. The girls had been missing for 11 days. Elsewhere, children in Maseno marked the global hand washing day aimed at preventing diseases such as diarrhea. According to the latest Kenya County Health Fact Sheet, out of 1,000 live births, there are 146 deaths of children under 5 years old in Nyanza province. And tension between villagers living on the border of Kisumu and Nandi counties boiled over yesterday as a tussle over land resulted in the death of a businessman. The controversial land is associated with a retired judge. Finally, a key witness in the just concluded Bungoma senatorial petition is claiming that his life is in danger after unknown attackers touched his home last night. George Sitati was one of the witnesses of former cabinet minister Muskari Kombo. He says three armed men broke into his Chebukaka home in Kabushai constituency. Petroli in Amuagua kupitia kwa derisha la nyumbayangu. Na hilo derisha halina window pens. Ilimwagwa kwa sababu tulisikia hiyo harufu nikajua hiyo ni petrol within no time moto ulikuwa umelipuka kati moto ulilipuka mimi na wewe rafiki yangu tukatoka mbio mbio nje kufika pale nje tukaona vijana watatu wanatimua mbio wakipanda upande wa juu this incident comes one month after combo's lawyers in the case peter wanyama wanyonyi was killed under unclear circumstances ian wafula ktn